Hi there. Today we are going to introduce you to an amazing product called Stick and Stretch. Interesting name, but a great product nonetheless. Stick and Stretch allows you to gallery wrap your own images. And by gallery wrap, we're talking about an image wrapping around the edge of a canvas stretcher bar, like we're showing here. As you can see, this is a nice panoramic format and just one of many, many options that you have with the Stick and Stretch system. There are two versions of Stick and Stretch, the narrow standard version, which is an inch and a quarter deep, and these are available up to 24 inches in length. And the professional version, which as you can see is considerably heftier, this is an inch and three quarters deep, quite a bit thicker, and these are available up to 60 inches in length. So you conceivably could do a five foot square gallery wrap and it works exactly the same way. We're going to have two separate videos. The one we're doing at the moment is for the professional version of the sticks. The way that it works, you simply buy the sticks in the format that you need for the canvas that you're going to wrap. And we've got a lovely canvas here. This is going to be a square 12 by 12, and it's a very simple process. You mark on the back of the canvas where the actual image area is, and you can do that by just holding the image up to the light so you know the edges that you're going to work with. You purchase a set of positioning corners or braces or jigs, whatever you prefer to call them, and they're purpose designed to work with the sticks. The way that they work, there's a notch here and a channel here, which corresponds to the same part on the positioning corners. So you simply push it into place, push down, it'll only fit one way. If you tried to put it in upside down or backwards, it does not work. I've pre-assembled the rest of the frame here to get us started. Simply again push it into place, remove the cover or peel back the cover on the adhesive that's on the sticks and every one of these sticks that you buy has that adhesive on it which adheres to the canvas. So very simple, again now I'm trying to do this, it won't fit in, I've got it in backwards. So even if you're talking to the camera as I am now, it's no issue at all in terms of being able to do a perfect wrap each and every time. Once you have the sticks in the corner braces, it becomes a very solid frame. You can move it around. It's very, very solid overall. At this point, we remove the cover from the ad adhesive. Allows us to actually proceed with the wrap. You turn it so that the canvas is facing down, and we're using a self-healing cutting mat here, really one of the only tools that you need. You position the stretcher bars over the back of the canvas. Because you're working on the back of it, again, that's why you would mark it in the first place. We're all set, we're properly lined up. We simply press down on two of the sticks. It's now stuck to the canvas. The whole thing is still very solid. Nothing's moving around because they're still complete in the corner braces. We're done with the braces at this point. I often get questions, well, you know, what do I need these things for? They're really just to position the sticks so that they're perfectly square and perfectly parallel. You buy the corners once and you literally can use them for years. Just make sure that I've got very good adhesion by pushing down once on all the corners. And the only other tool that we need is a good sharp cutting knife. I like to go a little bit above the edge and what we're going to do is cut all the way along tightly here. If you prefer, you can actually fold it over and staple the canvas, but this just gives you a nice clean corner. So we just come down once, come in slightly, repeat that from the opposite corner, cut your corner at a 45 degree angle and we fold it up. And I'll just turn that to the camera so that you can see we've actually folded the corners over. We repeat that process all the way around on all four sides. Just very, very simple. The thickness of the sticks allows you to get a nice clean cut. Again, just fold up on the corners. As you can see, I'm lifting the canvas rather than just sliding it along. Because we are dealing with little pieces of wood, I want to make sure that I'm not scratching the surface of the canvas by just swishing it around on the cutting mat. We do use an archival white glue as part of the process, and that goes right along the edge here as the canvas touches the sticks. The reason for that 
The canvas that we're using, and just about every canvas on the market, has a very high cotton component to it. And that cotton, in the right humidity conditions or a variation of conditions, can actually stretch on you. And we want to make sure that we never pull away from the actual corner of the stretcher bars. Okay, we're ready now for the magic of what makes this a wrap. And it's very, very simple. You simply lift the two corners together, hold it in place, take your corner pins, which are supplied. And these look like regular staples, but they're not. They're just designed to be pushed in into the corners. The sticks are actually pre-drilled so that it works perfectly with it. No hammering required. The last two corners we pull apart just a wee little bit to make sure that we don't get any puckering. Lift it into place and take the last two pins. You'll see that I'm only pushing the pins down part way as I'm doing this. That's self-preservation more than anything else. I just want to make sure that I can continue doing this over an extended period of time if I'm doing demos or working in a studio. The last thing is to actually push the pins in. If you prefer to use a little mallet, that's fine. I just use the same Olfa cutter, push down. Just make sure it's in nice and tight. And we're ready for the finished product, which is our gallery wrap. As you can see, it wraps all the way around. The corners look great. It's nice and tight like a drum. And it's simply the action of lifting up those corners that gives you that. We do supply corner braces with every pack of sticks that you buy. And the braces work in this little channel along the edge here. They're very straightforward. You simply push them into the corner like so. You really don't need it on an image this small, but they are supplied nonetheless. And I'll just go through the process so everyone's familiar with it. You do all four corners. I typically do cross corner just to make sure I'm getting my tensioning even. If you prefer, you can put a bit of a bead of glue along the edge of it, or I have some customers that even tap a small nail in. And you'll see at this point, it's even tighter than it was before. There's your finished gallery wrap with the Stick and Stack Stretch Professional System. Again, available from eight up to 60 inch length, so you can take your creativity to its next level. Thanks and stay tuned for the demo for the standard version of the sticks.